may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody has had a pleasant Saturday. Sorry we got on so late, but I've had a massive headache. Since last night, during these solar flares, and they always get me, my headache was like nothing I've ever seen. It was just like, and I don't get headaches. Only when there's solar flares do I, do I usually get them. If my allergies are really, really, really bad, usually after cutting weeds and stuff like that. Last night, I was fine until the flares. Now, this is supposed to go on the next couple of days. Now, if you all, when you see this video, there is a thumbnail there. I'm going to give you a little backstory on it. Last night, when just crazy people, the more I think about it, believe it or not. But I've lived here all my life. I've never seen that here. Never. It's amazing to see it. I wish mom could have seen it. Mom would have thought it was beautiful. She's in a much better place, though. What she's seen is much beautiful than anything we could have saw last night. But what I was thinking about, it was, you know, I do believe it's a warning. I've been going over tons of information, tons of data that we've been getting. But that thumbnail, that is taken in New York City during the eclipse, not the eclipse, I'm sorry, the, the aurors last night, I got eclipse on the brain, I think it's all connected, but that's a language that showed up in the sky, and we went over it and went over it, and luckily Shelly noticed it, because the picture, I had to blow it up to find it, other people didn't notice it, now a lot of people going to say it's Photoshop, they're going to say this and that, because like I said, they don't want to know that we're at the end. That's just the bottom line. We're, and I know that for a fact because God showed me that in a dream last night. I've seen it. He showed me that I saw him coming and people was running and hiding. Except me. I was jumping up and saying, oh, Jesus is here. Everybody else is running, hiding under anything they could get under because they didn't want him to come. I think he was letting me know that, hey, these people that are fighting against us right now, that's what it is. They don't want him to come. But he was coming, but they was hiding, and they was running and scared. They wasn't happy that he was here, by any means. So, he's letting me know that, hey, I'm on my way, and a lot of people ain't going to like it. A lot of people. They will run and hide. I've seen it. They ran. They were trying to hide under rocks, anything they could get under. They did not want to see him. That he was in the sky. He didn't come down here. He was just in the sky. He had a... Israel's colors on. He had a whole white robe, but the fr the front shawl was like blue. And uh, he was just smiling from ear to ear. He was just glad to be here. He's glad to come and get us. He was happy. And I was like, oh boy, y'all in trouble now. Jesus is here. Y'all ain't so funny now, are you? There's no smarks or remarks. Everybody's running and hiding. And that's all I kept saying in the dream. Yeah, y'all brave now, ain't you? And they were, they were running for the hills trying to get away from him because they did not want to face him. And they, I mean, he was just in the sky, just walking around, flying around, and coming to get the church. So last night I knew when we was watching the clip, uh, see, I've got eclipse on my brain. And I know that they're connected. But these auroras, I knew that that was a warning. And it happened the day that they give the Palestinians the power that they did. 
See, I mean, he, he's warning people what's coming. But they don't want to hear it. They'll come up with every excuse. What it is other than what it is. Now, also, I want to make sure uh, Jamie, I think it is, you know, Jamie or Janie, I did find your letter. I tore this place apart last night trying to find it because she wrote in the comments on the last video that she wanted to know that her, her letter got here and I tore this place apart trying to find it. I bet you I spent two and a half hours trying to find it. Because I, I keep everything that y'all give me. Every single thing, all the way down to suckers. Literally. They mean that much to me. And literally, I looked and looked and the Holy Spirit said, go look in the truck. And I was like, okay, maybe it's fell down in between the seat. And that's exactly where it was, where I get that mail. And sometimes I get so much, sometimes it ju it will fall down in between the seat of the truck. And that's where it was. So, Jamie, I found it. And I appreciate the letter. So you don't have to worry. It got here. And God bless you for sending it. As I said, if you if you want another letter, we don't read them all the time or tell everybody different ones because some people don't want them to know. So that's why we quit doing that. Some people say I don't want it, everybody to know and stuff like that. So uh, I make sure that, uh, but if you've sent something and you want to make sure that it's got here, make sure you put it in the comments that, and write out to Shelly. Just put Shelly's name out beside of it and ask if I got it. So, we did get that letter, thank God. Like I said, I spent hours and hours on him trying to find it. But you see that uh, that thumbnail, there was, and it's in twos. And it's written, and I don't think it's coincidence, the only place we saw it at was in New York. Uh, I think it was Rochester, maybe I don't remember exactly. But it was in twos twos and twos that's what we've been getting twos twos and twos it's like a pattern and we've been getting it so literally god's letting us know he's coming okay he knows and he's coming to get us listen our place was done on april the 7th it's only it's any time now but i was watching uh sister shelly sent me a video of this guy and he had about the may the 8th too and he got his back in 2020. For those who say, oh, well, it ain't God, because you give it to you years beforehand. God will give you stuff way beforehand. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But literally, his was about bells. Mine was an alarm clock. His was about bells. And in his, he saw the two bells. Now, like I said, about a week and a half ago, the strangest thing happened here. I have hooks on my grill. And only two fell off, and I heard them, and there's no way you could get them off there. No way. No way possible. It was enough for the Holy Spirit to point it out to me. I mean, literally, they're in there so good, you can't get them out. Even wind, no matter what it is. But only two fell out. There was four, and only two fell out. The next day, my alarms, two was turned off physically. Somebody had to turn them off physically. But the other alarms was all fine, but only two of them. So it was hooks and then bells, or the alarms. And there's that two and two again. So we've been seeing it. And you all have been seeing it too because I've seen it in the comments. You all have talked about it also. But you all see the twos and twos and twos. And I think there's a message in there. Because, I mean, he literally is just letting us know, hey, I'm coming to get you. Get ready to get out of here. That's what that May the 8th meant. That after that day, the alarm bells would start going off. This other guy had it from back in 2020. And his, he had the same conclusion I did. He had Russian bells that went off. And it makes sense. I knew, I know it's going to sound crazy. A lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but I'm telling you it happened. When Russia uh, swore him in on the Sabbath, I knew that that was our, our way out of here. I knew it. When it happened, I was like, you know, this is it. When he got sworn in, I believe that was it for us. That that will lead us to the rapture when Putin got sworn in for the fifth time. It's not a coincidence. Fifth time in May. There's that five and eight. And literally, he's letting us know that this is where that war is going to take place. And we already see what's happening with Israel and everything that's going on there with the Rafa. And they're just, just signed a thing to extend the Rafa. 
And the United States has been warned against this and warned against this. And now they've actually filed an impeachment charge against Biden for trying to withhold the weapons. So there's a lot going on. But the good thing is for us, we're leaving. We don't have to deal with this world much longer. Ain't that great that we can just go home. I know you all are ready to go home as well as I do. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. And the Lord's letting us know we're going home. We all know it. I don't even try to hide it anymore. We're going home. And for the first time since I've been doing this channel, I just know it without a doubt. I don't have no, I'm not worried about next year or anything like that. I know we're going home. I just don't have that anymore. It's not there. It's gone. These other people will fight against it all they want, but hey, they can stay here if they want. I'm going home. And I think we all know that. We're all getting the same message all over the world that this is coming to an end finally. Thank God. I know I'm glad to get out of here. It says here, Macron wants to throw all Europeans into war with Russia, and he is really trying really hard, and he plays a role in this somewhere. Europe must be ready to contain Russia if Moscow goes far into the conflict in Ukraine, French President Emmanuel Macron said on social media. If at some point the Russians go too far, we all Europeans must be ready to act and contain them. You can't contain nuclear weapons. But see, that's that reprobate mind. And they won't stop. That's why God told us. They're not, they've already made up their mind. That's why he's pulling the church. At some point the Russians go too far, all Europeans must be ready to contain them, he said, uh, responding to a question from social media users. The above statement has many interpretations of the most terrifying of which concerns the sending of pan European troops against the Russian army. Today we have a huge task. Ukraine has been attacked by Russia and we need to be able to stop further advances. Because it is clear that this sovereignty and the territorial integrity of this country is at stake. Yeah, remember, Ukraine is not a NATO country. The reason it's not is because it was so corrupt. NATO wouldn't accept it. And it is. It's a very corrupt country. At the same time, as Macron said, he hopes that with all his might that Paris will not have to engage in hostilities. I hate to tell you that's coming. And it will come on a pretty day like this when it all goes down. Oh, thank God we're leaving. That's all I can say. According to him, France is not a power of war, but a power of peace. There's that peace thing. But if Europe wants peace, it's necessary to defend it. That's why we have to arm ourselves. That's why we must be a deterrent and a, uh, a persuasive uh, to our opponents, telling them that if they go too far and threaten the interest of our own security, then we will not rule out intervention, he added. So, like I said, this guy has really, really tried to push the envelope of going into this war. They all are, really. Biden, him, pretty much all these leaders in NATO. And Putin has not been a saint of his own. He's really kept pushing the, the envelope, which we already knew he would because God showed us many years beforehand that Russia would play a major role with all this going down with World War III, the rapture, it's all there. He's warned us, and it took years to get here, but it's finally here. It's all here. The other stuff that we're hearing, and this is, like I said, we've got connections all over NATO and all over Europe, even got connections into Russia itself through this channel. So we've, we've really created a huge dynamic of a reach here on this program. And we're getting a lot of that information coming in off the gr from the ground that you're not going to get through the media. But the other stuff that we're hearing and we're seeing is that many of the most richest elite in America are banding ship. Now they're pulling their stocks, all their money out of these major companies, and they're fleeing at a record pace. Most of them are right now, like I said, these people that make fun of us in the comments and everything. Oh boy, I'd hate to be them, so I can say. Like I said, we do their homework. They don't. We live this, and we do it every day. They depend on Fox to give them everything they know, and they're just not going to get it. We have to go. We have plenty of avenues that we deal with when it comes to all the knowledge that's coming in. 
And the number one things like Warren Buffett and all this other stuff, they're pulling their assets and they're leaving. They're not just poor. They're getting out of here. They know something really bad is about to happen in America. They know it. We know it. Everybody else doesn't, and they don't want to believe it. But it's coming. That's why we see such, like this, uh, for instance, these surveys that's been going on over top of our heads for two years. That is not a coincidence. They are planning something really, really big here. Been years people talked about FEMA and stuff like that and never really bought into it, but I'm really starting to buy into it now that a lot of this stuff is happening, that they have a plan, and that's why all this stuff is going to take place. God's warned us. That's why he's coming to get us, because he knows what they're doing, too. He knows more than I do of what they're getting ready to do. I know it's not good. But we see these elites, these rich elites, running, building bunkers, pulling all their assets. This is always a sign that things are coming down the pike. And most people don't know about them. The emergency action messages, everything. They all, all this stuff plays a role in what's happening. The auroras last night and this weekend, these major sun, sunspots exploding like they are. The earthquakes. The other day, there was 900 tornadoes in one day. One day. I've never seen anything like it. The earthquakes in New York, New Jersey. The signs are all there. It's all there. You can never get in front of Jesus very soon and say, I didn't know. Because he's going to say, oh yeah, you did. You knew. The signs was all around you. The only thing that you didn't do is you didn't know the Bible. And you didn't know scripture. That's what he's going to say. Because scripture pretty much tells you everything that's happening right now is that key to getting out of here. But they, these people, what they'll do is they'll use this lie. Well, that stuff's always been happening. No, not this stuff has never been happening. Not like this. And we've said that, but that's their excuse. And that's the, the excuse the devil gives them. That this has always happened this way. Oh, there's always been wars and everything. Just ignore it. And that's the same comments that we get in the comments. But that's not the truth. We've never seen this many people bowing to exterminate each other. And this is not World War One and World War Two. They didn't have these weapons that they have today. One Russian Sarmat missile can wipe out the size of a state the size of Texas. Just one. And I mean nothing left, not even bacteria. God knows this and God knows they're getting ready to use them. That's why we gotta go. And that's why he's been warning us that I've got to pull you. Because the time of the Time of grace is coming to an end. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. If I can give you any advice today, is right now, turn off the world and hold on to Jesus with both arms and don't let go. Because this is it. The devil can tell these people all they, what they want to hear, but the time is now. And we are leaving. We all know it. You can't deny it. We all feel it. We all see it. The signs are all there. I thought we had signs like this in 2022 and 2023, but I have never in my life seen anything what's going on right now in my entire life. It's like I said, God's done everything for these people, but put sticky notes on their refrigerator, but they will still spit in his face and they will still come here and fight to make people not believe that it's the end. That's what they'll do. And that's what Jesus said. They're actually fulfilling a prophecy. That's exactly what he said they'll do in the last days. That's it. You'll see them in the comments. That's exactly what Jesus said they would do. And we've tried to reach out to these people to get them on the boat. That's our, our only job. That's all we've tried to do. But they come up with every reason. Somebody was on the other day. They, was, they picked up two words out of everything I said out of 30 minutes to use against me. Just so they could have an excuse that Jesus ain't coming. And that's what they'll do. They'll climb onto anything to just discredit you. Seriously, that's where we're at. But the thing is, you can discredit me all you want. It does not mean it's not going to come. And Jesus ain't coming, because he is. And you're still going to have to stand in front of him. There's no running. There's no hiding. That's why I saw that dream. People was trying to hide. But once he comes, there's no hiding. You're not going to be able to hide behind me. 
Say, it's all him. Or then you ain't going to blame anybody else. He's not going to hear it. It's all about you. We all face it. We'll all have to hear it. I'm not worried about it because I know I've done my job. I've told you he's coming. I've warned you and warned you and warned you. I've been screaming to the top of my lung, but people didn't want to hear it. But you're not going to be able to blame me and your family and something in your past. He's not going to hear it. He's not going to hear it. Right now, the best thing for you is to trust in the blood of Jesus and turn from your ways and go forward and get with Jesus. That's the way you can actually avoid all the stuff that's coming, and it's coming quick. The tribulation and Jacob's trouble will begin any time. If you keep putting it off and keep making excuses why or who or blaming somebody else, that's on you. You will have to answer for yourself. You won't have to be able to blame anybody else. That's the problem with this generation today. They blame everybody for their own things, and it's not them. It's all about you. You can't keep blaming everybody else for what's happened to you. you got to take responsibility for yourself. And that's what's wrong with people today. They're in love with themselves. All you got to do is scroll down to Facebook, TikTok. These people are obsessed with themselves. They're their own gods. Just like Jesus said they would be in the last days. Lovers of their own selves. We're living it. And we're seeing it with our own eyes. Call up on Jesus right now before it's too late. Because hell is very real, people. There's no parties. There's no nightclubs in hell. There's no late night movies. It's burning forever. You don't die. Turn away from it. Because if you get left here nine times out of ten... When all this stuff happens in World War III, you might get eliminated before you lose your head. Seriously. Because these nuclear weapons will take a mass amount of people with them when they come. And it is coming. You can sit there and deny it all you want, but it is coming. It's not going to stop. That's why the church is leaving. We go up when they come down. That's what's coming. And God has shown too many people that it's coming. Either you believe it or not, but it's going to be on you. Don't say we didn't tell you and we didn't warn you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for watching over the watchmen and watchwomen around the world out there spreading the true gospel and we're waking people up around the world and sowing those seeds for those who get, do get left behind. Thank you, Lord, protecting them and their families with a shield. In Jesus' name, it will be done. As we watch over the Jews, Lord, we know what time it is. We see it coming. Be with them in these dark days to come, in Jesus' name. As we watch over the hungry, the sick, the homeless. Get them everything they need, Lord, up until the rapture of the church so they can come home and not have to deal with these things ever again, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for another day, for just having us be awake. Thank you for letting us see the signs, because most don't see them, or they don't even want to see them. But you have made it to where we see them, and we understand them, and we're ready to go home. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the rapture itself, so we don't have to be here anymore, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for just coming and getting us. We're ready to go. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Ask me to watch over the ones in the comments, Lord, the names of all these loved ones and friends, that they will be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Thank you, Lord, for protecting the channels and keeping them safe from all those who are trying to come against them in the last days. You'll see them in the comments, Lord. I ask for you to lighten their hearts before it's too late. In Jesus' name, it will be done. Lord Jesus, thank you for all of this, for just letting us see with our own eyes that we are finally going home. In Jesus' name I pray, and amen. I want to thank each and every one of you for the support for the channel. Those who bought me coffees, the ones who uh, bought the Super Sticker Show on YouTube. Thank each and every one of you. We're not going to probably do three programs today. We'll probably just do two. Like I said, I've still got this ache and headache. So there's plenty of news out there, but I think we'll just do two because a lot of people on Saturday, they're just so busy with everything. And plus the lights will be out tonight again. I don't know if we'll see them as well tonight as we have because it's kind of cloudy and storming back and forth. We're supposed to have storms all week. So be ready. Now the big one, that came off last night. We won't see that until probably Monday or Tuesday. So 
like I said, so far, the grid's held up. Thank God. I think God's just given us another warning. That's what we're looking at. That we can see with our own eyes, know that we're in the last hours. I think that's what it was. Now, most people won't see it that way. But like I said, you'll see that thumbnail. That was a language that was in the sky during this over New York. It's right there. It kind of looks like us to us, the Aleph and the Toph, the beginning and the end. The Alpha and the Omega. I think he signed. And he's, I'm telling you, he's literally doing everything right now to make people wake up, but they just don't want to see it. Trust in Jesus right now. Don't let go of him because we are at the end. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.